No, he had, he didn't have to be vocal. Oh, well, why you ain't calling? The motherfucker, he running the show. He ain't got to call nobody out. Everybody trying to see him because he, he's that guy. He didn't want to put the asses in the seat and putting money in your bank accounts. He's a horrible person, and this is every every bit of proof. We were just picking up on um, Oscar, and you said you've not liked him for a, n a number of years. Yeah. And I'm like, well, what, what is it about him that well, sort of reviews? He's always been jealous of Floyd. He's always been jealous of Floyd. And, and, and if that ain't obvious, I don't know what it is. Leonard Ellerby has finally broken his silence regarding Floyd Mayweather's detainment, and the feds blocked all his bank accounts, and he's now making a plea to the public and government for their intervention. Fusion is tank. Mayweather Promotions fighter still, is he not? What is his kind of still his involvement with Mayweather Promotions, or is it just all still PBC, Al Heyman? Yeah, kind of Tank like is not signed to Mayweather Promotions. Okay, gotcha. He's not signed to Mayweather Promotions. His contract ran out, yeah. and that's fine. But His latest revelation comes after several instances of pretense silence and ignorance from him, as he had skipped several interviews and questions regarding Floyd Mayweather's detainment. He isn't the only one from Floyd Mayweather's team to be guilty of this, and many of them haven't helped matters as they have mostly been silent regarding the issue. However, Leonard Oliver, being the chief executive officer of Mayweather and being more prominent than the others, is most guilty of this. What kind of person he was, but initially, I'm just being honest, I didn't believe him. I had to see it for myself, yeah. and and I, I my, my description of him, he's a horrible person. The chief executive officer of Mayweather Promotions, Leonard Orley, dodged the question repeatedly, despite being asked the same question over and over again. Leonard Ellerby quickly brushed off the rumors and deliberately skipped questions regarding Mayweather's hostage in Dubai. Orvi refused to answer when asked about Mayweather's alleged hostage situation in Dubai. I, I get where, totally get where they're coming from. It's ridiculous. And why are you trying to make this 22 pounder move up the fight? Yeah, yeah. Game? So if, if he. When Pacquiao, once upon a time, was listen, started at listen, 108. Let's have that discussion. Yeah. Discussion. Is that kid. Well, this is probably because Floyd Mayweather himself has not addressed the controversy in his back and forth with Davis. Rather, he's been taking jabs at his former protege and taunting him by requesting he fights multi-division. Champion shaker Stevenson Leonardo Orovi was quick to shower praise on Javent Tank Davis. When he was asked about his upcoming fight in a month's time, he said, In my opinion, Tank is the best fighter in the entire world, and he's got another terrific opportunity on June 15th to go out there and show you guys why he's the top dog. He was then asked about the feud between Floyd Mayweather and Javin Tank Davis, with the reporter asking him for confirmation of Mayweather's hostage situation in Dubai. The reporter, just out of curiosity, said that Floyd was kidnapped by the Abu Dhabi folks. Any comments on that? However, Leonard Ellerby sneakingly skipped the question like he was never asked and kept on with his prayers for Von Davis. I didn't get paid, I didn't get paid. It was just like I said before. He just want to keep his name out there. Remember what he said, he said, um, uh, Mayweather ain't gonna, he, he didn't pay me, he didn't pay me. Where's the loss? If you didn't get paid, where's the loss? Now, it is, um, you know, you said that you talk about your business only, I mean. Uh... Burke is seeking general and special damages, past and future, in excess of $155,000 for her injuries. Mayweather owns multiple casinos and strip clubs in the USA. He is a known gambler who frequently posts his high dollar sports wagers on social media. Catherine suffered injuries in the collision, claiming general and special damages past and future in excess of $155,000. But this isn't even the first time Floyd Mayweather has been in this kind of trouble. This is not the first time the former professional boxer has been sued, especially based on the crimes of those closely associated with him. Earlier this year, The Blast reported on a lawsuit over an alleged assault involving the Mayweather security team, according to legal documents obtained by The Blast. The previous lawsuit came nearly two years after Floyd Mayweather's bodyguard was being investigated for battery in the same incident. Floyd Mayweather was then sued over the damage allegedly inflicted by his bodyguard, per The Blast's previous report. The victim claimed the 2022 incident occurred when the Mayweather money team entered the Yard House restaurant near Crypto.com Arena, which was formerly known as Staples Center in Los Angeles, which resulted in a large crowd gathering around them, causing a commotion. The individual goes on to claim he was using his cell phone camera to begin recording the Mayweather money team. And that was when the professional boxer caught sight of the man recording the video. Floyd Mayweather and his security team then alerted one of the bodyguards. 
a member of Mayweather's team approached the alleged victim negligently, carelessly, intentionally, maliciously, or physically, and or hit the victim by striking him and causing him to fall to the ground, per the documents. The bodyguard then brought the man to the ground in an attempt to confiscate his cell phone, causing further injuries and damage. The victim claims he was placed in great fear for his life, health, and safety, although a representative for Mayweather stated that the boxer left the restaurant due to overcrowding. The alleged victim reported feeling fearful for his life. The police were called to the scene about 30 minutes later, and their investigation revealed inconsistencies in the victim's account compared to witness statements. This is not the first time Mayweather has been involved in such a situation. A similar incident occurred in 2010 at the Palms Casino in Las Vegas, where a man claimed Mayweather's security team assaulted him after he attempted to photograph and speak with the boxer. The plaintiff in the lawsuit was seeking an undisclosed amount in damages. Mayweather, known for his illustrious boxing career, found himself facing allegations that did impact his public image and financial standing in 2010. Also surfaced was an incident at the Palms Casino in Las Vegas where a man accused the boxer security team of assaulting him. A 21-year-old man claimed to be boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr. and directed his bodyguards to attack him at a Las Vegas casino after the man asked about a long-awaited showdown with Manny Pacquiao. According to a lawsuit filed Friday in state court in Las Vegas, the lawsuit alleges Mayweather's bodyguards attacked Anthony Cliff of Las Vegas near a valley parking stand at the Palms Casino Resort on March 27, 2010, after Mayweather accused Cliff of disrespecting him. Mayweather's bodyguards allegedly struck him in the face, slamming his head into the ground. They then kicked him repeatedly in the back and side. The lawsuit said Mayweather's attorney did not respond to a request for comment. A spokesman for the Palms said casino officials do not comment on pending litigation. Las Vegas police spokesman Jinta Rivera said that an allegation of battery at the Palms involving Mayweather and his entourage was reported, but the case was suspended because witnesses and casino video surveillance did not identify any suspects in the lawsuit. Mayweather told Cliff he was disrespectful and allegedly gave his bodyguard a thumbs-down gesture, which was a sign for the bodyguards to attack. The lawsuit claimed the Palms were also named in the 43-page lawsuit for allegedly failing to provide adequate security. Cliff claimed the casino's valet and security staff did nothing to help him during or after the alleged beating. It was at that point that Manny Pacquiao and Mayweather came close to reaching a deal for potentially the most lucrative fight in boxing history multiple times, but they were yet to meet in the ring, and after that, he failed to turn up for a court-ordered deposition in Las Vegas earlier in a federal lawsuit alleging he defamed Pacquiao. That's all for now. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel until next time. Peace out.